check, check. Hey, please, 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 please. It's, I'm at voltage, I'm doing this. Yeah, if you're outside, come inside. A friend of mine told me about Voltage Lounge. I had my first signed band ready to have a show. And then, uh, of course, you know, when I hit up the Trocadero, the date's not available. So I gotta find something else. You know, they're booking a tour. This is the date on the tour. I need to be that date. Um, my friend told me about Sean, um, who is the head talent, talent buyer here. And I immediately messaged him. I was like, hey, like, I'm trying to do this. Like, let's work together. Like, I hit him up, I came, we checked out the venue, I, sent, I gave him a deposit, and then, you know, day of show, I, I have no idea what to expect. Nerves are running, I walk in here, and over 100 people came, and I was just blown away. I was like, this room is amazing. Like, this is the vibe. Like, I want this vibe forever. Um, so, you know, after that show, I pretty much was like, Sean, let me, let me do this, let me do this, let me do this. Like, uh, what do you need? What do you need? Like, I'll help any way I can. Like, I really love this place, and I still love this place. It's my second home. Philly is such a diverse city, um, and one of my main objectives when I first started booking here, I wanted a diverse room. I, 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 I didn't want a, a niche room where, like, you know, it was only for metal shows, only for hip hop shows, only for pop shows, whatever the case may be. So I always wanted a diverse room and it keeps the room fresh that way. Like any given you know, night of the week, you have something different. I hosted an artist, uh, his name is Dice Rawl. He was a, he's a part of a member of The Roots. He saw what I can do and introduced me to, a, to Voltage Lounge. He was like a city, uh, a city venue and you know, where you know, he was looking to host uh, The Roots Picnic After Party, sought me out. Uh, and we, 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 we had the event, it was successful. And then the owner was like, wow, whoever threw that event is who I want working here. What do you think the future of uh, venues is? People are excited to get back into venues and they're excited to see shows again. And uh, I think the venues that make it out on the other end um, are definitely gonna have a ton of success. And um, you know, it's sad that some might not make it. You know, Voltage could be one of those, I mean, depending on when this interview airs, who knows? But um, I think people are going to be a lot, are going to be very appreciative of shows and events, and you won't have that person like you know, where it's too cool to go to a show and I'm going to sit at home and Netflix it up. They might be more, uh, you know, I'm going to go to a show tonight. I don't want to miss it out. I won't wait for the next one. I want to go to one now, and I think that's going to just lead to you know success. We'll you know we'll probably see some new venues. Who knows? Maybe even pop up. What, is, what, what needs to happen for Voltage to make it to the other side of this? Um, financial support. Uh, we're hoping that our SVOG, uh, Save Our Stages application gets approved. That will pull us out of the back rent hole that we're currently in. In a perfect world, I'd love to do some renovations, you know, and get this place uh, back in a tip-top shape and get ready, hopefully, if all goes well, for a, a grand reopening after Labor Day. Is there anything just a random person who loves Voltage Lounge, is there anything that they can do to help support either financially or to raise like awareness? Uh, right now, I mean, we, we have a bunch of merch on Cold Cuts right now and uh, we're, we're raising all, of, all the funds for that to help us out with, you know, the odds and ends financial help that we can, uh, can get. You know, uh, there's been great bands, Kanashi, Varials, Acacia Strain, and Fifth Ford Autopsy. They were all super nice and did collab shirts with us to, to help us uh, raise this money. So uh, if you're at home and you're looking for a way to support Voltage, uh, go to coldcutsmerch.com slash Voltage Lounge and uh, pick up a shirt. National artists play here, and if we have a national bill and there's uh, approved two locals on the show, that's giving locals a you know a huge platform. Um, if any other any other room in the city uh, any larger than us, likely you're going corporate and maybe Live Nation or AEG Bowery, and um, those are a lot tough uh, tougher cookies to crack, especially on a, a local level. So, uh, Voltage just gives the local uh, Philadelphia artist a lot more of an opportunity uh, for for a uh, better platform for sure. Voltage crowd, you know, thank you so much for all your support over the years. Um, you know, it's taken us, 
you know, some time to get where we're at and we couldn't do it without, you know, anybody that has ever purchased a ticket or, you know, share our, you know, GoFundMe link, our petition and all those things have helped, uh, you know, all those, all those things, they mean so much to myself and our, our staff, you know, bartenders, sound techs, our, our production managers, security, security personnel, uh, our promoters, Gus, um, you know, we all appreciate your support and uh, we hope to see you in the fall.